What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of a pumpkin and melon farm that I went and I actually designed. And it essentially uses a bunch of smart pistons that I went and tiled together and a minecart hopper to actually collect all the drops. Now I'll be honest, this wasn't my first design. I was actually working on this one over here uh, that is kind of a weird cylinder shape and I thought it was a great idea. I was actually going ahead and hoping that this would work pretty well. I have these uh, minecart hoppers actually submerged in the water and I was hoping that if you actually go ahead and you grow a pumpkin, it would be collected into the minecart hopper, but it only has an efficiency of about 30% in my testing, so that's really not good enough. But this design over here actually has an efficiency of just about 100. There's a couple little pieces on the end I'm noticing over here. I probably should have extended this just a little bit on the ends um, because every once in a while something will pop off at the end here that goes a little bit outside of the track But if you just pull the track out just one more block or so it should be hundred percent efficient So the way that this works is that we actually have two blocks of dirt side by side One is going to be the uh, the stalk for the melon or the pumpkin And then the other block is just going to be where it spawns and directly above where the uh, the pumpkin or the melon spawns is a downward facing piston now we actually have a constant powered um, repeater right next to it so that when the, uh, the block goes ahead and actually gets placed it powers this redstone line here which actually automatically powers the piston causing it to break the pumpkin meaning we're detecting for the pumpkin growth without using an observer because i did notice in my testing when you use an observer um, detecting the same block that a piston head will extend through it'll actually just cause a loop and you don't want that so this is my solution to avoid using an observer piston loop and of course to go ahead and actually hydrate the farmland we just have some water here with a couple half slabs uh, but as you can see as long as you place the water block directly on the uh, the dirt and not onto the bottom half slab it will not leak through the bottom and to go ahead and just tile this just go ahead and actually rotate it 180 degrees as you go so it's going to be facing this way and then that way and then this way and then that way and just repeat it as far as you want. And like I said earlier, I just have two um, hopper minecarts running along the bottom, one for the interior, one for the exterior. The middle one will actually go and gather most of the drops, but every once in a while, you'll get a couple of the outliers coming out this way, and that's what the outer line is for. And all the drops are being collected in this chest right here, which is being placed in with some hoppers. Now, if you guys actually just wanna build one of these with me real quick, let's go and walk over here. Now let's go up a couple blocks, let's place down two dirt blocks side by side. And actually, let me go ahead and let me grab a hoe real quick. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually hoe this piece of land here. We're going to place the pumpkin seed down. Make sure you go and you actually bone meal the stalk if you want it to start producing immediately. Or wait to let it grow. All right, once you actually have the, uh, the stalk there bone meal, go ahead and place a couple of blocks this way so that we can place a downward facing piston right there and that there's an air block. Place two blocks this way and a redstone torch and a redstone repeater. And then from this point, place a half slab there. And then we're actually going to go and build up a little bit, half slab there, and a half slab there. Go and get some redstone, place one there, 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 and directly on top of the piston itself. And this is actually fully functioning now, the only thing we're missing is the water. Uh, but just to go and test it out, place a pumpkin or some kind of block, um, preferably a pumpkin so it breaks. Place it down and it should automatically break itself. Now like I said, if you did want to tile this, just go and come out this way, place two blocks here. Go ahead and actually hoe this piece of land, place down your seed, go ahead and actually bone meal it real quick. Place down two more blocks, put down your redstone torch, make sure you get your repeater, place the repeater right there, get your piston ready. And then now it's just simply putting in the slabs once more. All right, so now those slabs are in place, place down the redstone. And now this is actually fully functioning as well, so to go and test it out, go and get a pumpkin. Make sure it works before you continue, which it does. And then over here in this crevice right here, we're actually going to be hydrating the soil. So go ahead and place down a half slab on the bottom and place a half slab right there. Go ahead and get your bucket of water and make sure you place the bucket of water directly on the dirt right here. And now the only thing left to do is actually make the collection system, which will be directly one block beneath the farmland. So just go ahead and make sure you go ahead and you have it directly one block beneath. Get your chest ready. Make sure you center the chest where the dirt blocks will be. So in between right here and you will be funneling some hoppers in the front and in the back. And for the middle line of rails, just go and do something like this and then bring it out all the way. And once you get down to the end, go and place down two more regular rails and then some more of the power rails. And also, uh, be a good idea to put down some blocks of redstone just to go and make sure they're powered fully. And then that middle line is done. And then just to do the outside rail, just go ahead and place down some more redstone blocks, a couple of more regular rails on the outside. 
and then some more powered rails. All right, guys, and this mini farm right here with only two pumpkins is actually fully functioning. But as you guys can see, you can make it as big as you want or need. So if you guys did like this, please consider dropping a like. If you guys want to see more things like this, please consider subscribing. Consider supporting me on Patreon, and until I see you guys next time, take care, and bye-bye.